The McGurk effect is an illusion where a listener confuses what they hear with what they see from a speaker. This illusion varies throughout the languages that humans speak. For example, the McGurk effect would be different in Urdu than in English. So, no matter what language we speak, we can experience the effect and the several possible illusions that it creates. So what is it? It is when what we hear clashes with what we see, generating something new. For example, we may be hearing someone say ga, but when we read their lips, they seem, at least to us, to be expressing another sound, ba. This may result in where you may hear something different from what is actually being said on the audio, namely da, which is a merger of or is comprised between the bilabial b and the velar g, landing just at the alveolar ridge, which is the top part of your mouth. We know this illusion is present across all languages, but do all of us experience the same level of confusion to the point of hearing an entirely absent new combined sound when faced with seemingly opposing auditory and visual stimuli? In fact, there are some people who do not undergo this illusion at all. Scientists have found that the left superior temporal sulcus plays a critical role in audio visual integration, as in what you hear and what you see. Apparently, the stronger the activity in this region, the more likely a person is to feel the McGurk effect or experience the illusion. So, because this activity varies, each person also has their own level of susceptibility to the effect, which is also mitigated by several other factors. Next, we will narrow down our focus to one's susceptibility to the effects based on age and bilingual experience alone. So. How does age affect how susceptible someone is to the McGurk effect? A study from linguistics researchers concluded that adults, defined as being between 20 and 35 years of age, are more susceptible to the McGurk effect than children 3 to 9 years old. However, they are equally as susceptible as children 10 to 12 years old. This aligns with a well-supported theory that, as we age, the amount of influence our vision exerts over what we hear increases. So, how does being bilingual affect a person's susceptibility to the McGurk effect relative to being monolingual? Well, it's been proven that being bilingual has many effects on cognitive processes, ranging from better metalinguistic awareness to more difficulties understanding speech in a noisy environment. However, According to researchers, one of these effects is a greater amount of audio-visual integration when compared to monolingual people. An example of audio-visual integration mentioned earlier would be hearing the sound ga, but seeing someone say ba, and thinking you heard da. In other words, audio-visual integration is a subset of the McGurk effect. So, why does being bilingual make someone more susceptible to the McGurk effect? One reason behind this could be that bilingual people rely more heavily on visual information when hearing language. This could be because bilingual people will generally have less experience in a single language than a monolingual person would. However, the study found that proficiency in English in a bilingual person had no effect on how much audiovisual integration occurred for them. Therefore, the researchers asserted that simply being bilingual affects how audio-visual input is processed, leading to greater susceptibility to the McGurk effect. As a last note, comment down below introducing a language you speak besides English if any, then take two most similar phonemes or sounds in your language. For example, Urdu Rhodix has Ra and Ra, and try to experiment with people around you and see whether you can trick them with your two sounds. And let us know down below if you succeeded. But if you don't speak a language other than English, suggest one factor besides those discussed that could alter one's susceptibility to the McGurk effect and explain why. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.